Russian President Vladimir Putin and his Emirati counterpart Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nayyan held official talks in the Kremlin on Monday. The trade turnover between Russia and UAE declined in 2024, Putin said in his opening remarks. Despite the threefold growth of trade turnover over the last three years, we have nevertheless observed some downward correction over the last seven months. We agreed that our colleagues would work on these issues separately, the Russian president added. Speaking about involvement in the exchange of prisoners of war between Russia and Ukraine, Al Nayan said the UAE is always ready for any additional effort in this regard and any effort to help resolve crises in a way that serves the interests of all parties and supports peace in the world. The two leaders met at an informal dinner on Sunday evening where they discussed the situation in the Middle East and Ukraine. Al Nayan will also take part in the BRICS summit in Kazan this week. Мы имели вчера удовольствие встретиться с господином президентом в неформальной обстановке, поговорить о всех чувствительных моментах нашего сотрудничества, обратить внимание на те вопросы, которые требуют особого внимания с нашей стороны, поскольку, несмотря на трехкратный Рост за последние три года товарооборота все-таки на в течение в течение последних семи месяцев мы наблюдаем некоторую коррекцию в сторону снижения. Договорились о том, что наши коллеги поработают над этими вопросами отдельно. И сегодня у нас такая возможность есть нашему уважаемому гостю для тоже вступительных слов, а затем. أنتز هذه الفرصة لأشكركم على تسهيل مهمة وساطة الإمارات قبل أيام لتبادل الأسرة بين روسيا وأوكرانيا وهذه هي الوساطة التاسعة منذ بداية العام الجاري وأنا أعتز بالعمل معكم في هذا الجانب الإنساني للإمارات مستعدة دائما لأي جهد إضافي في هذا الشأن وأي جهد للمساعدة في تسوية الأزمات بما يصب في مصلحة جميع الأطراف ويدعم السلام في العالم مساهمة كبيرة في تحقيق ذا إعلان الشراكة الاستراتيجية بين بلدينا عام 2018 شهدت هذه العلاقات تطورا نوعيا خاصة في مجالات الاقتصاد والتجارة والطاقة وغيره. ففي عام 2018 كان حجم التبادل التجاري غير النفطي مثل ما ذكرت البارح 2.5 مليار دولار لكن هذا الرقم وصل العام الماضي إلى أكثر من 11 مليار دولار مهمة لتعزيز العلاقات الاقتصادية مع روسيا A Russian with the call sign Silva joined the Russian-Ukrainian war and volunteered for the Storm Z unit, which fought in the Donbass. He supported Ukraine and acted following the secret plan of the Freedom of Russia Legion Command. At some point, Silva blew up the commander and went over to the side of the Ukrainian forces. The combat path of the Russian pro-Ukrainian volunteer was told on the YouTube channel Vidu Shivdushu. In the first minutes of the conversation, Silva said that he was 24 years old and three months ago in the summer, he was at the front in the Ocheritain area, west of Avdiivka in the Donbass. The Russian volunteered for the army and served for four months in the Storm Z unit before the transition. Former prisoners served alongside him, convicts, who were shot to force obedience. According to him, there was a man among the Russians who volunteered to personally carry out the execution. He cleaned up every tenth person. He shot every 10th person personally, right in the head, right before the formation. They thought maybe they would have more motivation. The commander approved.
the Russian explained. Silva also spoke about the habit of the commanders of the Russian armed forces to zero out soldiers. The main reason for such actions is the refusal to storm Ukrainian positions, escape from the trenches, refusal to return to positions, refusal to bring ammunition and pull out the wounded. According to him, this is done by the entourage of the officer who leads the unit. Special people are not allocated for this. In addition, the volunteer explained why he did not join the SLR, having left the Russian Federation abroad. According to him, this option did not suit him, so he signed a contract to immediately go over to the Ukrainian side. At the same time, Silva began operating in September 2023, and already in February, he resolved all the issues. While going through the formalities, the Russian consulted with the Legion. One of his operations at the front was emptying a mine warehouse of an adjacent unit. When he decided to end his service, he blew up the commander of the Storm Z and crossed the front line.